For question number 15, it says find the 12th term in the expansion of 3x minus y to the 13th power. Even though the question is only asking us for one term, the 12th term, but in order for this to make sense, let me just write down a few things for you guys. And in order for us to do this, of course, you don't write down this 13 times and then multiply it out. We are going to use the binomial expansion formula. So this is how it works. I don't recommend you guys to remember the formula, but you should totally remember the procedure and how to do this. You should remember the setup and how to do this. And there are a few things that I have to talk about. And you should have your calculator. Okay, if you have a calculator, it's extremely useful. And once again, this is the calculator I recommend. So, um, one thing that you will need is on the calculator, what we call the NCR button. So you say, on your calculator, you should look for a key, and that should say NCR. And let me show you, on my calculator, that's my NCR. And it's in orange, so I have to hit second and that button. Okay. So on the calculator, you will see the NCR button by math. The way that we are going to write it, the way that we are going to write NCR is open the parentheses and you put the N on the top, R on the bottom. This is not a fraction, and we say this is N choose R. Okay? Um, without going into too much detail, let me just kind of tell you guys do this on the calculator, that's all. But that is like the most powerful key in statistics, I would say. Okay? But anyways, keep these two buttons, uh, these two uh, functions in mind. So to do this, this is how it works. Look for the exponent first. Look at the exponent first, which is 13. And then I will do it as the way that we do it in math. I will begin by saying I have 13. Put it on the top, the exponent on top. And I will begin by uh, writing down 0 right here. 13, choose 0. I will leave some space, I will add, the next term will be 13, choose 1, like that. Leave some space, plus 13 choose 2, and so on. You can see the pattern already. Plus 13 choose 2, plus 13 choose 3, plus 13 choose 4, and things like that. Okay. And so on. And I will just put like, Da, da, da. That means you have a lot going on, but then the last two will be 13 choose 12, and the last one will be 13 choose 13. That's where you stop. I'm not going to write down all the terms because it's just a lot of terms. If you have the 13th power, we are not going to ask you to write down all the terms. It's just a torture, I would say. Okay, so you just write down a few things first, a few terms first, right? And those will be the coefficients, the multipliers, the, the number that you will multiply with the rest. Then, I put down uh, the binomial coefficient. That's why it's called the binomial coefficient. Then, I'll look, um, I'll look at the first term, which is the 3x that I have in here. So I'll begin by putting in parentheses and write down 3x to the 13th power, just like that. And for the next one, it will be 3x to the 12th power. The power goes down. So the pattern is, you write down the first thing first. First thing in the parentheses first. Third, uh, 3x to the 13th power. 3x to the 12th power. And the next one will be 3x to the 11th. 3x to the 10th. 3x to the 9th. And so on. And Take a guess what will this one be? This one will be 3x to the first, and the very last one will be 3x to the zero. And 3x to the zero is just like one, it's nothing here. So you don't need to worry about that. So you begin by the first term, and then just do the first term, 13 power, 12 power, and so on, just keep writing it down. The last one does not have the 3x, does not have the first term. Then, 
If you look at the second term in the parentheses, we have a negative y. And we'll begin by starting from the back and then do it backwards. So for the second term right here, I will have negative y to this 13th power like that. And this one here will be negative y to the 12th power and so on. Okay? And one thing that I will tell you to keep in mind is you see I have the 1 power here and the 12th power right here. The sum of these two exponents, these two exponents will have to add up to the original exponent 13. So that's one way to remember it. So right here, as you can see, I skipped some terms in the middle. But once I get back to this, I have 3x to the 9. But then if I put on negative y, if I want to figure out how many exponents it is right here, I have 9 right here already. I just need 4 because 9 plus 4 will be 13. So I just kind of finish this up. Negative y to the third power, negative y to the second power, negative y to the first power, and negative y to the zero power. So yes, nothing there for the y's. So that's the idea of how it works. Okay? And if you want to find out the 12th term, this is what it means. This is the first term, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. And I just mentioned that this is the fourth term. Let me study this. Let's study this together in detail. Too bad the question is not asking for us to find the fourth term. Otherwise, that would be the answer. Okay. So once again, this is the first term, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on, so on, so on, so on. And that's the last term. Okay. But hopefully you guys all agree with me that this is the fourth term. And this is how the expansion works. Now I just want to focus on that. Just want to focus on that. Okay. So um, let me write this down right here. For the fourth term, we see that we have 13 choose 3 and 3x raised to the 10 and negative y to the third power, like that. Okay? So once again, I can also erase this. <laughs> this is like a note. Okay, fourth term, this is what we have. If we have a calculator, if this is what the question is asking, we will be done. But let's study, study this. If the question is asking us to find a fourth term, notice that right here, this is always uh, the original power, the original exponent. The 13 always match with the original exponent. But if the question is asking us to find a fourth term, notice that this number will be 3. Okay? And the reason why is because we started as from 0. We start counting from 0. 0 is the first, 1 is the second, uh, 3 is the... <laughs> 0 is the first, 1 is the second, 2 is the third, and 3 is the fourth. So therefore, 3 is the fourth. Okay? Anyways, 13 is the original exponent. If you want to find the fourth term, this will be one less than four, so which is three. And notice that for the second part right here for the y, okay, the three right here match with this three right here. Okay? And then for the three x, which is the first part right here, first term right there, to figure out this exponent, once again, you notice this three, three plus what will be 13? Of course. 3 plus 10 is 13. That's how we can figure that out. Okay? And now, let's finish that, the 12th term. Okay. So, if I want to find the 12th term, the term will be 13. Once again, this is not a fraction. We're going to use a calculator 
to do this number. If I want to find the 12th term, it will be one less than what I see right here. I will put 11 here. 12, uh, 13, sorry, 13 choose 11 for the 12th term. And I will open the parentheses for the 3x, open another parentheses for the negative y. And just similar to this, it's actually the same right here. I have 11 right here. I wrote down the 11 right here. The 11 and this exponent will match. So this right here will be 11. And to figure out what this exponent is, 11 plus what will be 13, the original exponent 13. Or you can just look at 11 plus what will be 13. 11 plus 2 will be 13. Right? Then that's it. That's how we can figure out the 12th term. And that's how the binomial um, serum binomial expansion formula works. But the question also wants us to um, expand the 12 terms completely. So this is not good enough. So now we have to use our calculator to do all the work. Okay? So I know this will be my work that I have to do. So first of all, let's figure out what's 13. Um, choose 11 first. 13 C 11. Let me just write this down as 13 C 11. That's what we are going to do on the calculator. Okay. 13 choose 11. And I'll show you guys how to do that on the calculator together. So we have first write down, first uh, enter 13. And then this is my NCR button. So I just do shift and NCR right here. And uh, accidentally press the uh, uh, divide. So I have 13 choose. 11 and equal, we have 78. Okay, so I will just tell you trust your calculator, this will be 78 times 3 to the second power, which is 9, x to the second power, which is just x squared, and this is like negative 1 to the 11 power. When you have a negative number, when you have negative 1 to the odd power, the result will be negative. So multiply by negative 1. y to the positive 11 exponent. Just like that. Just like that. And of course, we just have to multiply the numbers together. I have to multiply the 78 times 9 and times negative 1. So let me just do that on the calculator. 9, 7, 702, okay. 702, but it's negative 702. x to the second power, y to the 11 power. And this is the 12th term. And that's the answer. This is it.